We are going to be discussing um, some of the most prominent models in the e-commerce space. Um, I will just kick off with an introduction of our panelists and we'll mention each of their funding rounds just to make the point that e-commerce is a capital intensive business. Um, here to my right, I have Demet Mutlu, the founder and CEO of Trendyall.com, Turkey's leading e-commerce site. Um, shortly after Trendyall launched in March 2010, the site took on two rounds of funding from Tiger Global, um, and then took on a third round this past July from Tiger and Kleiner Perkins of 25 million, bringing total funding to 50 million. Um, next up is Ahmed Khatib of Marka VIP, a leading flash sales site in the Middle East and North Africa. Um, uh, Ahmed launched the site in November 2010 and then took on 15 million in investment from Osama Fayyad, Karim Kawar, and Hummingbird Ventures, and completed two rounds earlier this year, taking on a total of 30 million in funding thus far. Next up, I have Mana Ataya, the CEO and founder of Mums World, an online retail site for all things mother, baby, and child. Um, Mana founded the site this past October and is now closing a round of funding. Finally, I have Paul Kenny of Cabone, which is a uh, daily deal site based in the UAE. After launching the company in August 2010, he took on rounds of funding from Jabbar Group, um, which is also backed by Tiger. The second round in July 2010 made Jabbar the sole owner of Kabon. I just wanted to start, uh, can each of you um, discuss what is the most challenging aspect of your business to date? We'll just start with you, Demet, and go, go down the line. Can you just mention really briefly, one or two sentences, what is the most challenging aspect? The region, as you all know, um, hasn't, was not ready for, for e-commerce when we entered. There's many different businesses that have tried uh, and, and have failed, and many of them are having a lot of problems scaling. Uh, fortunately enough, we don't have a problems with growth, so the appetite is there, uh, uh, the demand is there. Our, our issues, again, is just all the issues that all the companies are facing today in the Middle East. This includes supply chain, logistics, cross-border transportation, last mile delivery, payment, and the overall, uh, the, the, the customers are, are, um, are not aware of the convenience of shopping online. So part of it is building a company and the other part of it, a part of it is actually building an industry. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's pioneering everything from scratch. Uh, however, uh, we, we realize all the issues that, that we, we're having and we're quite uh, aware of, of the issues with regards to late delivery, for example, the issues that happen with mismatch between our suppliers uh, uh, and the orders that we place with our suppliers. And we're actively working to fix these things. Uh, we're 320 people today. Our only personal mission is to satisfy our customers and scale this thing up where we can get to 20, 30, 40,000 orders a day without, uh, without having any issues. Ahmed, what is the most challenging issue? If you had to pick I, one. I named like seven things. So no, it's pick, the region, it's logistics, cross-border transportation, payments, and just overall the market is unaware of e-commerce. Good afternoon. Um, I'm dealing with a slightly um, more unique consumer in that our consumer are the mothers. Um, the mothers place a tremendous amount of, can you hear me actually? Yeah. The mothers place a tremendous amount of intrinsic value in the services and products that they select, which means that the customer experience has to be flawless across all the touch points. So for our particular target, it's not enough to promise the consumer two weeks or three weeks or even 10 days delivery. We need to deliver on fast, cost-effective delivery each and every time and ensure that the customer experience is delivered flawlessly each and every time. Sorry, just really quickly, can you raise your hand if you can hear and understand the panelists? If you can hear and understand us. Okay, we just need a little bit of, we need to turn up the sound a little bit. Everybody hold the mic close. All right, Paul. Um, so I think our biggest challenge was, uh, to agree with Demet, is that uh, the scale of growth within the business was quite extreme. So we're actually looking for our fourth headquarter within 18 months in Dubai. 
which has uh, been quite a challenge because we keep hiring people. I think the second biggest challenge for us was finding really, really good people who are interested in working within the e-commerce space because, again, as Ahmed said, it's a very new industry here, so attracting top talent is quite an issue. Thanks. Ahmed, how do you target the fashionista? You've grown to 1.5 million users since you launched uh, in 2010. What's your answer to this, to how you grew your customer base? Um, again, because it's a new region, we really don't have a lot of benchmarks uh, 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 so that we can come up with the proper target methodologies. So in the beginning, we kind of did blind marketing using Facebook until we found out which segments, uh, which segments are actually buying in terms of age groups, in terms of sex, in terms of cities, uh, in terms of countries. And then from there, we started optimizing. So uh, the Facebook strategy for us early on was very good to get the bootstrap market uh, and to get the word out there because young people, as you know, are very vocal uh, uh, and, and love, uh, very fanatic about their brands. And um, yeah, and we followed a similar strategy to what uh, the, the people on Facebook did during the Arab, the, the Arab, uh, Arab Spring uh, to get the word out. Uh, and then after that, as I mentioned, we started working with many different partners uh, in the Middle East as well as Europe and the United States uh, to try to start optimizing uh, 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 our, um, our marketing uh, dollars. Um, <clears throat> then it became obvious who the people are who are spending the most money, who are, uh, the, 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 that are generating the most orders. We started looking at marginal purchase behaviors. Uh, we started looking at repetitive purchase behavior. Um, um, and, and, and broke it down per country, even down per city, so that we can really calculate the proper ROI uh, uh, on marketing. We're not there yet. I mean, there's still a, a lot of challenges uh, in the region in terms of um, digital marketing, but we're seeing that a lot of the big players are entering this region uh, and offering more, more networks to, to uh, publish on. Uh, the costs of acquisitions are only going up, so... Um, the, the, the only advice that I have for any e-commerce company which is acquiring users is to acquire as many users as possible right now because costs will only go up.